Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Stokes. I want to talk about neuropathy. I'm, I'm getting so many people in my office uh, with severe neuropathy for treatment. And these are people that come in with problems with their feet and their hands. And usually it's burning pain, numbness, tingling, you know, uh, problems walking, problems holding on to objects. And a lot of these patients have been to other places. They've been to podiatrists or hand doctors. Uh, a lot of them have already had surgeries on their feet or their hands, and they still have the neuropathy. And so it's important to understand that the primary cause of neuropathy is problems in the spine. So if you have a herniated disc or spinal stenosis, which is a severe form of arthritis, or if you have something going on in your spine, uh, specifically in your lower back for your feet and in your neck for your hands, then that can cause neuropathy. And if you don't check the spine first when, you, when a patient presents with neuropathy, then anything you do to treat the neuropathy is not going to last or, or may not even work at all because you have to remove the compression of the nerve in the back so that the hands and the feet can resolve. And it's a simple idea, but um, it amazes me how, how many people come into my office and they've even had carpal tunnel surgery on their wrists and things like that. And when I examine them, they have you know stenosis in their, in their neck and that's what's causing that. Secondly, if you're diabetic, if you're a type 2 diabetic and you have type 2 diabetic neuropathy, um, that may be exactly what's wrong. But there's nothing to say that you can't be a type 2 diabetic that also has spinal stenosis, which is causing neuropathy. And you may not have diabetic neuropathy at all. You may just have spinal neuropathy. So you have to rule those in and out, make sure that you know what the cause is. Um, thirdly, if you've had chemotherapy treatment, if you've had cancer treatment, and as a result of that cancer treatment, you develop neuropathy in the hands or feet or, or in both. You need to know that because if you're treating the neuropathy, you're not addressing the drug that they used to kill the cancer, then you may not resolve the problem. So it's so important when a person presents in my clinic with neuropathy that we don't just automatically say, oh yeah, it's neuropathy, so we're just going to go ahead and treat the feet. Can't do that. Got to examine the full person, understand the mechanism of the neuropathy uh, so that we can resolve the cause of the problem. And so, again, the mechanism of the neuropathy, even if it's whether it's spinal stenosis from your spine causing the neuropathy, diabetes causing it, or chemotherapy treatment causing it, the mechanism of that condition is exactly the same, which is ischemia. The nerves that are feeding the hands and the feet are ischemic, they're not getting enough blood. And in the blood, we have the medicine your body uses to heal, we have oxygen, we have chemicals, we have hormones, all this stuff is in the blood. And if the blood is not getting to the nerve, the nerve becomes ischemic. Just like if somebody puts a tourniquet on your arm and suddenly your fingers start feeling you know, tingly and before you know it, they'll become numb. It's the same mechanism. In the early stages of neuropathy, we get pain. So if you know, what will happen first is that the patient will say, well, my hands hurt, my feet burn. That's usually the beginning, the beginning stages of neuropathy. Over time, as the nerve degenerates more, that pain transitions into numbness, loss of function. You know, in the late stages, when the patients come into the clinic, they say, um, "Well, there's no pain. My feet are just numb. You know, I can't balance. I can't walk." And we want to avoid that later stage. It's still treatable, but we want to avoid it by getting to the neuropathy early with a proper diagnosis. When you treat neuropathy, if it's going to work, there's only one way to treat it. You have to increase the blood and the oxygen and the nutrition to the nerves. That's what you have to do. Once you address the spinal problem, if it's there, you have to eliminate the ischemia in the nerves, in the peripheral nerves. And we use class 4 laser, uh, pulse electromagnetic field therapy, we use some oxygen therapy. We use various forms of advanced technology to stimulate the blood vessels that are surrounding the nerve to grow branches into the nerve and thereby increase the uptake of blood and oxygen and medicine into that nerve to reverse the ischemia. That's what we do. That is the only way that I'm aware of that you can treat neuropathy and create a permanent change. Taking drugs like Lyrica, Gabapentin, Neurotin, these things, these things are just band-aids. They're just masking your symptoms. They're masking your symptoms, making you feel better, while the nerve continues to degenerate until finally, you know, you can't walk anymore. So if you have neuropathy, please call me here at the clinic 
come in, let me examine your hands and feet, let me examine your spine, and I will tell you what the cause of the neuropathy is. And then I'll lay out a way that you can go about reversing some of those symptoms and reversing some of the damage that was done by the neuropathy, getting back some of that lost function, which is essential for anyone suffering from neuropathy. If they want to leave uh, my office and go out and walk on the beach, if they want to go and ride a bike, if they want to dance, if they want to live normal lives, they have to restore the function. If you've had chemotherapy, yes, we're still going to check your spine. Yes, we're still going to treat the nerves and the hands and the feet and stimulate those blood vessels to grow branches into those nerves, to give those nerves that vital blood that it needs to reverse those, those symptoms. But we're also going to take a look at your liver. We're also going to make sure that some of that drug they use to kill the cancer is not still in your liver, that it's cleaned out of there, that it's not lingering. And if it is, then we're going to use whole food concentrates to cleanse that, to get that out of your system, right? And if you have uh, type 2 diabetes and you're coming into my office thinking we're going to cure that, you're wrong. There's no cure for type 2 diabetes. But with proper treatment, we can reverse the damage that's been done by the neuropathy and then you can maintain that. You can maintain your diabetes, keep it under check, and prevent that neuropathy from returning. That's our goal. So if this information speaks to you, call my office and schedule a consultation with me, and I'll examine you, I'll determine the cause of your neuropathy, and lay out a plan to get you better. Thank you.